The only reason this vlog is actually being open today is because <laughs> Meg is very, very helpful. Before this vlog actually starts properly, this is editing Chloe just jumping in to say that this is a little bit of a strange vlog. Basically, you may have noticed I've not been posting videos in the last month. It's been a stressful month. You will see why in the course of this video has been a stressful but exciting month um but I just haven't had time to concentrate on filming videos editing videos so this vlog is a mixture of the first week of April uh, when I actually was vlogging it will start off with me in London right where the last vlog ended and um, I was there for Becca's birthday and then it will end at the beginning of May and you will see where I am at that point later on in the vlog but I just wanted to jump in before it started because it's a little bit confusing timing wise because it's a strange one but i hope you enjoy hi everyone my name is chloe welcome back to my channel thank you for being here today today's video is sort of a new weekly reading vlog i say reading is there going to be much reading we do not know um there is a meg who is <laughs> making a lot of noise um we have had a very busy day that i will tell you about at a later point but we are now going to the theater because of course we are we're going to go and see phantom of the opera because <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That'd be helpful in fact. Thank you. Um, John Robbins, who is an actor who was most recently seen playing John Valjean in the West End in Les Miserables, um, has left Les Mis to go and be in Phantom. And it is his first night tonight and we were here anyway. So we yeah. were like, let's go see. Well, actually, I think you extended your trip by a day to go and see him. But we hadn't booked we... to the hotel yet, so it yeah. wasn't... Um... Because we've been, so. no, we've been in London for Becca's birthday and then the Olivier's, uh, which was in last week's vlog. And yeah, I am here until Thursday because I'm going to see Bonnie and Clyde and Elton John on Wednesday. So I ended up sort of just going, well, there's no point in me travelling home. So I'm here today to see Phantom and then tomorrow I'm going to go and see Lainey's with Becca. Um, she's going home. I am going home. And Sadly. yeah, but... Um, we tonight are going to go and see Phantom and it's going to be great because John Robbins is going to be fantastic. He is like, going to be fantastic. I can't imagine a world where he isn't. So no. And I already time. know that I like Matt Blaker. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I have not seen the whoever we're going to have for Christine yet because like no matter who's on I haven't seen them. I've seen Holly mm -hmm. and I've seen one of the other under reviews but mm -hmm. I haven't seen the new mm -hmm. like alternate. Yeah. So, so yeah. But we're gonna go now. I may have seen Phantom a lot. <laughs> just we've just been working out how many times. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna we're gonna go now because we need to set off so that we can actually get to the theatre and we will there will be some B-roll so, so at that the theatre. We theater. can get there really early because <laughs> we were late to a thing today and we didn't yeah. like it. No, in all fairness, like we're we're only gonna be early because we're getting the we've decided to get the overground, which is like very quick. I mean, obviously, district line would have taken us a lot longer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll 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 um, catch up with you guys later. Yeah. Bye. We're back at the hotel. Where's the Meg? We just wow. been, we just been to see Phantom. <laughs> um, did you have a good time, Meg? I'm did gonna ask you. Time. It was very good. John Robbins was very, very good as I expected. Excellent. Um, Matt Blaker continues to be fantastic, and Holly continues to be fine. <laughs> I had not seen Holly before. She, she was, she was fine. Um, there was, there was nothing bad about her. She just wasn't my favorite, Christine. She's but, fine. But John Robbins was very, very good. He was very good. I'm glad that we saw him. There was a moment though where he couldn't quite get the noose. Oh yeah, I was like, I was wondering what was going on there. I'm like, this, this doesn't look great. It was the first time like he'd done it in front of an actual audience. Like yeah. He missed, and then Matt was like, oh, okay, I will, I will. Yeah, I will fall like, and make it look like I got away from you, and then you can put it on instead. It was yeah. fine. They, 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 they styled it out. out. It was good. Yeah. Um, but no, it was it was a good night. Um, I don't really have much else to say. I have not read anything yet this week. I will update you on reading later on in the vlog. I don't know if Meg will be in the vlog anymore, because I don't know if I'll actually film anything tomorrow before you leave. Yes, but we leave the hotel room early. Yeah. But if, I'm not really a person at that time. No, so if not, this is a buy from Meg. I have read very few things, but I've read things. But she's going to read. Right now. she has to. Yeah. And I'm going to log her books for Marvel of Fun because if I don't do it, no one will. Right. Speak to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
Um, I did not film anything really yesterday, apart from some B-roll at the Lamers Theatre. Uh, me and Meg had a busy, stressful day. Hopefully, we'll lead to something exciting that I will be able to update you on soon. Um, but didn't want to vlog during that bit. So then went to meet up with Becca in the evening to go and watch Lamers and just completely forgot to get my camera out at any point. Um, but it was a good time. I love Lamers. We know this. I've seen it like 26 times now. It's the first time that Becca's seen it. I was a bit worried about whether or not she'd like it, but she did. So I'm very glad about that. Um, she was listening to the cast recording this morning, so clearly something went right. Um, she cried multiple times, which I feel like is the appropriate response to the first time you see that show. I'm slightly desensitised to it by this point, but yeah. Lucy Jones was really, really good at on team. I liked a lot of the new cast members, actually. Like, not necessarily my favourite performances that I've seen, but I enjoyed what everyone was doing. I'm excited to see sort of how people sell into the roles um, and see kind of what changes happen the longer they're in it. Um, but I will do, like, full thoughts on that in my theatre wrap-up at the end of the month. I am now going to go to the train station to pick my mum up because she is on the way down here because we're going to go and watch Bonnie and Clyde this afternoon. And then we're going to go and see Elton John tonight, which is a concert that we've had booked for, like, five years. But it kept getting postponed partly because of pandemic reasons, but then partly because he had to have like a hip replacement so we're doing that tonight and then heading back home tomorrow and um, so far this morning i have watched one and a half episodes of schmigadoon and i'm really annoyed that i'm only managed to get halfway through the second one because the wi-fi was playing up but i just saw tofa who is basically everyone that was in season one i've not even explained what schmigadoon is and so far the people who have sort of their solo numbers is titus burgess who is a new person in it and um, but i really like him i watched him in the unbreakable kimmy schmidt then dove cameron has had her first song um, Ariana DeBose has had her first song and then the one I've just watched is Aaron DeBate's first song which very much felt like Corner of the Sky from Pippin so I am enjoying this so far I'm excited to see where it goes um, I might try and watch the second half of the second episode on the tube I've downloaded it onto my phone so I might watch it on there and then watch it again on a bigger screen at some point because I'll be watching this multiple times is what I did with the first series I really really enjoyed this show but I should probably go because I need to go and pick my mum up and I don't want to be late in meeting her bye <laughs> honestly do not know how much of interest this week's vlog is actually going to be to people because it started off with me doing things like I went to see Phantom, I went to see Le Mis, um yesterday, not yesterday, no the last time I updated you I went to go and see Bonnie and Clyde and then Elton John, I haven't actually spoke to you about that yet because um, it's now Friday and I haven't picked up the camera since the clip I filmed on Wednesday morning when I was waiting for my mum to get to London. Um, she did get to London, we like I said went to see Bonnie and Clyde which was very good, we had the cover for Bonnie which was good because it's the first time I've seen the cover for Bonnie I've seen the cover for Clyde for half of the show um so it's interesting to get to see her first name is Lauren I can't remember her last name I will possibly find out and put it underneath but if not I will talk about it in my theatre wrap up at the end of the month um well, she was very good. I do like prefer Frances Miller McCann. I just, I just really, really love her performance as Bonnie. Um, but she was very, very good. Um, I had a good time watching that. Jordan Luke Gage sounded fantastic. I think that um, in all the show 
seemed better put together than the last time I saw it because the last time I saw it was the first day of previews and it just felt like everything had settled down a little bit more which was very good and um, went to the Elton John in the evening which was fun there was like a section in the middle where I did not really know the songs that well but when I knew the songs I was having a great time and there was like a nice little fast section where it was like Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting and Crocodile Rock and all that sort of stuff and then it ended with well it actually ended with Goodbye Yellow Brick Road because the name of the tour was Farewell Yellow Brick Road and um, because it's his final tour um, but it, the encore also featured your song which is my favourite Elton John song not just because it's in Moulin Rouge it's been one of my favourite Elton John songs for a while but the fact that it's in Moulin Rouge does help uh, mainly for the film rather than for the stage show but um, it's been a song that I've been obsessed with for many many years so it was nice to hear Elton John sing it live um, and then yesterday I got home from London yesterday morning before I came home ended up being like a slightly busier morning than planned because there was some stuff that I needed to do before I left London um that I didn't expect to have to do so that made things just a little bit more stressful and then when I get home and then when I got home I just kind of didn't do much which is why I didn't pick up the camera um today I planned to be very productive and then didn't really do much until about three o'clock and then I did start doing things um which is still things to do with stuff that I'm not like saying properly on here yet because I would just like everything to be all finalized and sorted maybe I will be able to say it by the end of this vlog hopefully actually no probably not because it's bank holiday weekend uh, next week's vlog I should be able to talk more about everything that's happening a lot of you can probably guess what's happening but I would just like to like get things sorted before I have to talk about it properly so yeah today has just been like, like I said it's been productive in the second half of the day and um, it's now like 11 o'clock and I'm only just finishing what I've been doing I say finishing I'm not I'm just like sort of stopping for the day um I have found a certain type of video maybe a slime tutorial um online on on YouTube that is of a show that I've already mentioned in this clip and features the cast that I really love so I may be watching that and I'm trying to be discreet because I don't want it to get taken down and, but I'm watching a video of something now that I'm very much enjoying so I think I'm going to carry on watching that I've got like an hour of it left um, and then I'm going to go to sleep I am dog sitting this weekend my parents are away so I should probably go downstairs and spend some time with the dog because like he's free to come upstairs the, he, he's allowed to come upstairs it's not a problem but he has just sort of sat himself downstairs on the sofa all day so I keep going down and checking on him every so often and feeding him but he seems to be okay but I will just go and check on him now um there has been no reading done this week other than like did I even know I started that last week I started imaging obviously last week I may go and read a little bit now um but there's probably not going to be a lot of reading done I've already decided that if I don't finish everything on TBR MASH this month um it is for reasons beyond my control so I will not be punishing myself for it I'm probably just going to roll everything over to next month um and give myself like two months to do this TBR and maybe I'll do like a mini round of TBR MASH where I pick less prompts or I like I'll pick prompts but they're not like ones I have to read but it's just like if I do finish both because there is potential that I'll have a lot more time to read in May but we will see right now I am going to go back to watching my video and I'm gonna go downstairs and see my dog for a little bit and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, it is Tuesday and I have not ended this vlog. I don't even know when that last did film a clip. It may have been Friday. Um, I don't really have anything to update you on. I've been busy sorting things out all weekend. Um, I have not read anything at all. Um, the, my brain cannot concentrate on reading at the minute. The most I've been able to concentrate on is watching lots and lots of clips of the cast change at Moulin Rouge on Broadway this weekend because that's where my mind is and also watching the first two episodes of Schmigadoon season two Schmicago. Um, I've watched them twice so far I don't know if I've already mentioned that but I'm having a great time I kind of want to watch them again before the third episode comes out tomorrow and that is basically all I can focus on at the minute. Um, like I said there will be updates on things later on but right now I'm just going to wrap this vlog up. I know there haven't really been videos this weekend um, because of me just not being in the right headspace to film things. I am hoping to actually have filmed my wrap up and my haul to go up this weekend. And then probably March is going to be like a quiet month of video, not March. Probably April is going to be like a quiet month of videos and hopefully I'll be back on track in May. But we will see how things go. I I'm just looking off from work and I just thought I would film this clip and then I should probably start next week's vlog where hopefully I will actually be able to do some things I do want to read this week but yeah I thought I would say bye so thank you guys for watching for bearing with me in this slightly like 
more low key vlog. Although actually I did stuff at the beginning of the week. It's so next week's weather's gonna be nothing in it. Okay, this is editing Chloe here looking a little bit worse for wear. It's not actually editing Chloe, it's Chloe who is hoping that she will edit this video tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to jump in and basically say this is a very old vlog. Um, it's from it's from the beginning of April. Um, I haven't posted very much on here in the last couple of weeks. Um, the reason being, as you may be able to see behind me, things are all like packed up in boxes because I am moving this weekend. It's currently Tuesday and I'm moving on Friday and things have just been stressful with like sorting that out and packing and all that sort of stuff um, and I just didn't, I haven't read anything, I didn't want to pick up a book um, I well, I haven't read anything, I've not been able to concentrate to pick up a book and I didn't really want to vlog when I wasn't really reading anything so I've just kind of not picked up a camera and then I also haven't like edited the stuff that I already had but things are calming down now so I should hopefully be able to edit this one and have it go up tomorrow as I'm filming this clip but I just thought I would jump in and explain that so all this stuff you're gonna see happened a few weeks ago hopefully regularly scheduled vlogs will be back next week it has been a long time since I picked up a camera and done this hi everyone my name is Chloe welcome back to my channel thank you for being here today today's video is the start of a new weekly vlog we're not saying reading vlog because i cannot guarantee there will be reading in this vlog it's actually starting at a weird day it's starting on a tuesday um a tuesday evening to be exact as you may be able to see on the things behind me or if you watched last week's vlog which hopefully will have gone up you will know that i am moving on friday so i did want to vlog because i kind of want to document that process a little bit but also i've been too stressed to vlog before this point i've not really read anything this month i've not completed a book yet i've been reading i don't even know where it is um imogen obviously the new becky albertalli book i got a physical arc of that so i've been reading that but i've not finished it yet i'm like 150 pages in i'm enjoying it i just have not had the concentration to pick up a book i have started the audiobook for, for i started the audiobook for aurora rising because i need to finish that next week for the live show um but mostly i've just been packing and watching brooklyn 99 because it's been a good thing to have on while i'm packing i am very very red i don't know why probably because I'm still back in and it's like 10 o'clock at night but fingers crossed everything should be packed for tomorrow and then Thursday I can have like a bit more of a chill day before moving there on Friday so fingers crossed everything goes to plan but we will see and in this vlog I'll be able to show you where I'm moving to who I'm moving with and fun things like that so join me on this very stressful week where hopefully I will actually keep up with this vlog hello I started this vlog on Tuesday it is now Thursday. I did not update you yesterday. In my defence, I haven't actually read anything. Um, I had some more packing left than I thought I would have. Um, every time I think I'm done, there's just like one tiny little bit to do. I also still haven't like edited last week's vlog and put that up like I thought I was going to. Um, so hopefully that will be up on Saturday, maybe. Um, I will get back on track. I will. Um, but I still want to take you with me for moving day. I say I'm going to take you with me. Like I won't be able to film a lot of like the actual like moving part of it because my parents are taking me down I'm not going to be filming them and I don't want to be like be the annoying person getting my camera out when we're just trying to get stuff in the house so I will film once like everything is out of the van and so probably once they have gone um and when I'm just in the house with the person I will be living with who you can probably guess who it is I don't know why I'm acting like it's a surprise but you will see her tomorrow um so yeah not too much else to update you on i have my last day at work within my current team today um still not entirely sure what i'm doing next week because the my drum transferring over to has been off this week so we've not really had like a talk before but i have a one-to-one -one with her next week so should hopefully find out a little bit more about what the plan is once i'm down there and other than that, not too much else to say. I am going to go to bed now because I have to get up early in the morning to load stuff into a van. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, I am in the new house and um, well, I was about to say, cause I had not told them who I'm living with yet. I'm like, you can probably guess, but yeah. <laughs> <It's me. laughs> who else would it be? Um, so I got here like an hour ago, maybe a bit longer, unpacked everything. My parents have now gone back home. We were going to have a nice quiet night in. We yeah. both entered multiple ticket lotteries today. This one won tickets to go and see Cabaret. They're like £25 tickets, but they should be like somewhere upwards of like £150-£200. We are very happy about this. We look like this. <laughs> we do. Uh, we do have four hours before the show starts, so we're going to fix that. Mm -hmm. uh, Meg is injured, <laughs> which is not great. I've really messed up my thumb. 
But um, but we're going to go and see Cabaret because Cabaret, like you don't win this lottery very often. We've been entering no. it so so much. Every time we come to London, we enter the lottery. I've been entering it every day since I arrived. I'm really excited as well because this cast isn't in it for much longer. So no, we get to see more them. than Avatar is coming. I know. I, I would like to see her in yeah, that. We'll so keep entering the lottery. Well, yeah, just keep entering. But yeah, so we're going to go and see Cabaret. We need to go and pick the tickets up in the box office. Um, I will not be taking you with me because you're not allowed to film in there. But I will update if you I'm later not, on. Because I've not been vlogging. So I you know. I'm still haven't. I still don't know when the other vlog that I mentioned is going up. But hopefully, it will have gone up before this. Bye. <laughs> Hello. We are here. Can you see it? <laughs> At the Kit Kat Club. We're about to go and watch Cabaret. I have very little else to say, but we're excited. See you in a bit. Hi, Meg. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi.
a mixture of like chairs that me and Meg had at home and then a sofa that Meg found on Gumtree um but we need to go and get a dining table and then a coffee table probably for the living room as well um and we were going to do we're, and we were going to go and look at that today but like I said when we were out last night and then also like because all my stuff's still in the dining room it doesn't really make sense to go and get a dining room table yet so we're gonna possibly wait to do that next weekend um so tomorrow I'm gonna continue with putting books on my shelf um I'm not deciding what I'm doing with this vlog yet whether I'm going to just try and like film a lot more tomorrow because I also need to finish reading two books I'm gonna read a little bit tonight um before I go to sleep it's like 11 o'clock um but I've been sat with Meg for the evening we ordered pizza because neither of us were in the mood to cook I also don't have like I have some food in but not enough I do need to run out and just grab a little bit of stuff to get me through the week tomorrow and then I'll try and do like a bigger shop later in the week but yeah we had food and then we were both we were both planning on coming back upstairs and doing something but we just sat and chatted for a bit so it's like 11 o'clock and we come upstairs and I'm just gonna chill out up here and read some of my book and then I will keep you a date tomorrow if I think that like I've not got enough content then I may end up putting this vlog up later than planned and sort of do like a two weekly one but we will see um right now I'm gonna go and read some more of Imogen obviously um I did read some more of it this morning so I am on page 203 um which is a really quick read and I am enjoying it I've just obviously not been concentrating but I'll give you actual thoughts on it probably when I finished it um and I will listen to the audiobook of Aurora Rising tomorrow because that's only like I think I've got three hours left so I'll be able to do that so I will have read two books in April which is better than nothing right I'm gonna go I'll talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs> hello hi it's, it's a Meg again um yeah I, I live here she does this is her room is. to be exact yeah. this is Sunday we well I've spent most of the day unpacking books and then spent like the last hour hour and a half putting together this bed with meg because it was very much a two-person job um also meg like really injured her hand like yeah, it's very, very bruised. bruised like yeah. look, look at it yeah so, oh it looks bad on camera it does oh, well, i feel it like you bad in person too <laughs> i feel like people need to see how bad it actually yeah, is. like it has really been hurt <laughs> and she literally did it by going like my mom and dad came down to put my stuff and they brought the dog with them and she went to grab his lead and yeah. um literally i was like I, I'm, I was gonna try and be helpful with like boxes and things because i felt bad just sat there and i was like no i can't move my hand actually no so she just sat there with like harry pulling trying to get to my dad mainly yeah um, oh yeah so we built all that should we go and take a look in my room and see how messy it is let's go and see how many books i mean to be honest if i do this and show you like the bookcases first look how much progress i've made look look how good it looks uh, we're gonna ignore the piles of books all down here and the boxes of books that are all like everywhere still in the room but i'm getting there like, i mean these shelves are also mostly full compared to how my shelves look yeah i don't know if you noticed in my room there's nothing on those shelves so I'm, I'm getting there but um it's like nearly six o'clock and oh my god is it yeah oh my god so i'm gonna like try and get this into like some semblance of being tidy so that i can actually get in my bed tonight Talk to you later. So, we're at the end of this gigantic vlog. Um, there was not supposed to be a really long vlog either time I started filming this. Like, at the start of the bit, at the beginning of April, I fully planned on putting it up normally. And then I've been filming all this last week and was intending for it to be two separate videos. But it is last night that I decided to put them together. So hopefully it had some sort of, like, coherent thread running through it. Considering that I only read, like, the book... The main book that I read in April, I started in the first part of this vlog and finished it last night. And I've given you no thoughts. So I finished reading Imogen, obviously. Um, I gave it four stars, which is like, it's not my favourite Becky Albert Alley book because um, there are ones of hers I've given five stars. I enjoyed it. Um, I think that, so basically there's not too much plot going on necessarily because a lot of it is just Imogen sort of questioning her sexuality and figuring out whether she is just, she's constantly worrying that she's queer queer baiting people, which like, if you're worrying about it that much, you're probably not. Um, but I get that like, obviously she would be worrying about it, but also like, <laughs> you found this girl. Yeah. I get that she would be worrying about it, but it just like, because she, it was told like from her perspective, it was just a lot in her head and it got a little bit too much. Like I just wanted some other plot to happen so that you weren't con like completely focused on that. Um, but I did enjoy it. Like I said, I gave it four stars. I also 
listen to the audiobook i don't even know if i mentioned this but i listened to the audiobook of aurora rising which is behind me somewhere there it is um and i i've given thoughts on that one before i gave that one four stars as well like it's i don't know what it is about that that just makes it like not quite a five star i think it is just like everything feels like a little bit too easy in a way like there's in all of the books in that series the endings of them are like what we make me really like it but there's bits like in the beginning that just sort of yeah things happen too easily or things just drag a bit too much um throughout the series so not to just interject my thoughts off camera but it just feels a little bit juvenile yes it just feels a lot younger yeah than any of the series i've read from either author and, and i know it is ya so that's obviously like a big part yeah. of it but like so but... illuminating that feels yeah adult. yeah um but four stars so still a good rating but that'll be consistent throughout the series because that's what i rated them last time i read them all so there is a meg by the way um but yeah that is pretty much everything for this vlog and i'm about to go and start next week's vlog because i haven't actually said it's monday now it's bank holiday monday um so yeah thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe all that good stuff down below and i'll see you guys soon with a new video bye